Welcome to Rehash! On the internet where all news is old news. We bring you the best and worst of what's happening today. What's going on guys? My name is Grim from Ruthless Entertainment and you are watching Hashtag Rehash. <laughs> Thank you so much to Ruthless Entertainment who provided our intro. If you'd like to do the same, link in the description where you can do the same. Um, so today we got some newsy type whatever. Um, quick note before we get into this. This is one of our fluff episodes. So if you're seeing this, it either means A, um, we couldn't get an episode out today. Or B, uh, we could get an episode out today, but took the day off because this, we didn't want this news to get too old before this went live. Right. So, um, I wanted to talk about a man who, uh, posed as an armored truck driver yeah. and made off with $75,000 at a Walmart. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want to talk about? I wanted to talk about a new Mortal Kombat character coming to the game. Okay, cool. So they say that there's no such thing as a perfect crime, and I have to agree. But sometimes the inventiveness of criminals, it's amusing. Right. So apparently, a man walked into a uh, walked into a Walmart mm -hmm. dressed as a uh, armored uh, car truck driver, and he he goes in. Apparently, he knows his shtick, you know about you know who he needs to go to, who he needs to talk to, what what he needs to say, and you know they give him the the deposit for the day, as they would with any armored car truck driver person, and so then he walks out. And then a few hours later, the real one comes by. <laughs> yeah. And he made off with $75,000 in cash. Well, so do they have any leads to go off of, or is he just disappeared? At this time, while we're filming this, it's actually, there's, the details are still coming out yeah. on this. So it may not be the perfect crime. I'm sure it's not. I'm sure they're probably going to end up catching him. But just the sheer unmitigated audacity yeah. that this guy shows. Yeah, he has big balls. Like big balls. Yes, very. Um, so th yeah, that's that's my thing to, for today. I mean, it's not a very in-depth story, but it's one that I knew would age well because we don't know when this one's gonna go up. Right. So I wanted to talk to the Freedom Family and you. No, no, I'm not a huge Mortal Kombat guy. I played it like one or two times as a child. Oh, it was my childhood. <laughs> oh yeah. Right. So I played it one or two times, but for the most part, I've seen a lot of gameplay from relevant YouTube content creators, and they recently added Predator. They added Predator. Yes, they added Predator to the game as an official bundle that you guys no, can get. This is on the heels of them adding um, other characters as DLC. Yes. Um, they've added um, uh, Jason, yeah. the, the, the horror um, character Jason. And of course they had all you know custom fatalities for him. And I assume they have custom fatalities for this too? Yeah, and they've also added new skins. They have Commando Johnny, Infrared Scorpion, and Carl Weathers as Jax. Oh, really? Yes, they, they literally went all out with this. So, I'm, I'm really liking this because there is a community out there that just wants to be able to collect every fatality, every combination. And the fact that they're adding this as DLC I don't know, like, it, it helps feed into that community, it helps, right. I just think it's really cool. Right. No, I honestly I love it. I like the fact that they're adding new characters, all of which are relevant, and they're doing, like, an amazing job at it. If you guys want to see the trailer, open the description, go check it out. It, it honestly gave me cold chills. It makes me want to go play it. What I really like about the, uh, the approach that they're doing with this is the fact that it's not the standard that we've come to know. The standard that we have come to know as gamers right now is we're sold incomplete products, <laughs> yes. and the DLC yes. completes it as a game. Now, I like this because it's just, it's not content you need to finish the game. This is the way DLC should be yes. done. Yep. And and I really love that. I, I, I mean, hats off, kudos, applause, whatever. <laughs> right, I agree. All right, so those are the news stories, unless we got another one hiding around here somewhere. No, I don't yeah. think it's hiding anywhere today. No. Has, has anybody legalized marijuana lately? don't think so. Okay. Um, then I guess it's time for us to talk about the comments! Yay! Let's go! So, Colin Namuno comes from Wrecked Seth. He says, um, I try to comment on every video, but I don't know what to say. My advice, anytime you're commenting on a video, and, and this goes for, of course, anytime you're commenting on Rehash, but also other videos as well. If you don't know what to say, 
skip to a random part of the video <laughs> and and just think of the first thing that comes to your mind at that moment. Now I do this a lot when I am commenting on big YouTubers videos and I'm like I don't know what to say. I just click on a random part and Jenna Marbles is you know she's you know saying something and if it's not a bad word because Jenna Marbles is known for saying bad words then I'm just like, yeah, yes. Jenna, you know, I agree or disagree. You know, dogs are the best thing in the world or whatever. I don't know. I almost thought you said dogs were the best to eat. That's what I thought you said for a second. I haven't been in the Philippines that long. <laughs> oh, geez. So um, that's a, a really good thing, especially if you want to support creators. Um, also, doing that on channels with a lot of subscribers. And I'm not saying, let me, let me put this the best way I can. I'm not saying to go to the channels with a bunch of subscribers and go, Err, check me out! That's not what I'm saying. However, um, running into people that are in your community in the comments of other people's videos um, can actually help you gain notoriety in that community as well. Yeah. So just simply commenting on other people's videos and being recognized is very good for you. So do comment on, you know, more famous YouTubers channels do say hey do you know do ask questions be a part of the community but whatever you do don't don't, beg. don't do that weird thing that we all hate everyone hates that yes and if you're honest with yourself you hate it too <laughs> right. all right so that's the comment section yep that's the comment section all right then that means we get to talk about uh partner let's go comment number two comes from um, Mixel Productions HD Subscurity Dudes, I don't know. Wow, that's a pretty big name. Yeah, uh, who says, why they took away my income from YouTube, I want quick response, carefully, Mixel Productions HD. Um, again, you've got to give us more to, to go on here. I'm assuming that by they, you mean YouTube or Freedom. Um, and I'm also assuming, based on your channel here, that you probably just joined Freedom. And I'm also assuming that what you're referring to is when you join an, a network or an MCN, it sets your earnings to zero cosmetically. Your earnings didn't go anywhere, but it cosmetically changes them to zero for the time that you're with that MCN. And then it grows from there. Um, this is so that an MCN doesn't ha is not privy to what you made before that. It's a it's your privacy thing. So I'm assuming that that's what you mean. It's perfectly fine. It's cosmetic, and your earnings will continue to grow. Yeah. And yeah. And in fact, we've made videos about it. We've got a support article on our website about it. Um, yeah. So this is this is something that we've covered many times. But I mean, it's okay if you missed the memo. That's perfectly fine too. Um, so now that we're done with the comment section, we get to dive into the partner. Let's go. But let's not dive into him. That might be painful for yeah, him. Yeah, unless he wants us to. That would be really weird. Kind of. Yeah. Ruthless Entertainment. I have this to say. Your your thumbnails, they're very daring. I like them, but then again, on, on another hand, I don't really like them because you often cover people's faces with text and with other things. Um, they're very bright, very vivid. Um, you've got a lot of really good elements there. Don't stop what you're doing, but do look at tiny ways that you can tweak them to make them more effective. Yeah. Um, other than that, um, I, I love the various types of content that you're doing. You actually happen to leave your rehash intro as public, and I appreciate that. It helps advertise the show. Um, and, I mean, other than that, I don't really have a whole lot of nitpicks or gripes. Yeah. Um, and I don't want to I don't want to list everything that I like about it because I, I'd be here for a while. Yeah. So, yeah, keep on trucking. If I could suggest anything, I would kind of work on the titles a bit. I mean, if you're a YouTube user, normally a lot of people, if they don't know you, they're not going to type in Grim Plays. This is true. Right. So I would try to type in something relevant. Nothing misleading, of course. But for example, you play Portal 2, you play Mount Your Friends, Counter-Strike Go, Gmod. I mean, all of these are really relevant. So I would try to come up with something like a, a certain moment that happened in the video and, and try to use that in the title and try to implement that somehow. 
some hay, some sweet for you. Some sweet for him, hey, hell. Then we go with country accent. <laughs> 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 we gotta change to a country theme song. But for the most part, like I said earlier, if I could suggest anything, work on the titles a bit. Because a lot of people who don't know you aren't gonna type in Grim Plays. You can include Grim Plays, but maybe do it in the description. In the description, at yeah. the end of your titles, um, is perfectly fine. Right. Um, it's okay to try to forge your own brand, and I see that that's what you're trying to do, which is perfectly fine. But make sure that 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 Grim Plays is in your tags. Make sure it's in your description, um, and also if you're going to put it in your titles, at the end of it is perfectly fine. A lot of times that will get pushed off to the side. Sometimes it'll get cut off for some people, yeah. but it will help establish your brand in search in other places. Exactly. Um, and don't be scared if you have a title that's maybe a little bit too long to leave Grim Plays off. I would personally say, and I would personally recommend. Don't include it, but I see what you're going for, and I don't want to discourage you from it either. Yep, I agree. Hmm. Any, any other stuff? Should we do stuff? Too? No, I think we're good to go. So, I, one other thing that I wanted to mention: he does have a vlog channel, which you should definitely check out. Um, but uh, it, it, the, the rehash intro was up on the gaming channel, so maybe he'll maybe he'll give us another one for the vlogging channel. But, 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 but before you click off, before you pause the video, click away. <laughs> make, make sure, hang on, yeah, yeah, we still got you. Open the description and go check his channel out and spam him with rehash. Open it gently. Don't rip the description yes. open. Be nice. Remember, descriptions are our friends. Right. They're full of text and other things that help us be found on Google. So why why would you be abusive to them? Yes. I believe that brings us to the end of the show. Yeah, I think so. So, till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make us love our jobs. Also, be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. See you guys later. Bye, friend and family. Also, let us know what you thought about our first uh, episode where, you know, our first... Fluff episode. Fluff. Fluff. We're just going to call it fluff. Rehash fluff. Fluff rehash.